What's up, everybody? It's Marco Luis again. I'm here on One Mic Night TV. I'm here with a very funny Tom Pedavato. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, it's good to see you again. Great to be back, thanks for inviting me. Yes, yes, he's been here before. Very, very funny man. I, I have to say this, the last time you were here, you had some really, really funny stuff. Thank you. As soon as you, as soon as you left, I wondered, where, where, where do you get your material? What inspires you? Well, it's basically certain things from life, certain things are just stretched in my imagination, imaginary relatives, imaginary dating situations, where you take what has happened, but you just kind of stretch it to the nth degree to exaggerate it for a humorous effect. Well, the thing that I noticed that it, you're right, it was a real life situation that kind of, like some of this stuff kind of hit home a little bit too much, you know, but <laughs> okay. it was very funny. Thank you. Um, where have your travels taken you with the comedy? Have you been you know, mainly New York or you? Mainly, but I've been doing a little more traveling. As a matter of fact, I just came back from the uh, suburb of Pittsburgh. I performed Saturday night for a fundraiser there, and I was the one comedian. It was really great to fly in, be put up in a hotel, fly back. And I wanted to do more of that, do more out of town gigs. That's right. Shout yeah. out to Pittsburgh. That's where, actually, that's where I spent my high school year. Oh, wow. Yeah. This was in Butler, Pennsylvania, right? I don't know if you're familiar. It's about an hour away. Absolutely. I was in Westford, PA, for a while. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But um, do you feel like, you know, what you do there is a little bit different than the New York sense of humor? I mean, do people get your sense of humor? Because I know you have some of the New York edge to you. Yeah. I had a, a, some of my extreme New York material, so to speak, I edited out because they just might not understand it, you know. There's certain things I did a subway joke, but I kind of like had to explain it a little more. Well, this is the way it is in New York with the subways, but here I can just kind of jump into it and people will know what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. I guess that's sort of the usual, you know, like in some TV shows that are filmed here in New York, you know, people that live outside of New York don't really get it, so you have to kind of go to What's, um, now, is stand-up the only type of comedy you do? Do you do um, I mean, ventriloquism? Do you do um, anything like that? I was getting, I actually, I've, in my career, I've done more writing for other people than performing. As when you brought up ventriloquism, I came a couple of times to the uh, ventriloquist convention, which is actually in Northern Kentucky, and I met people that I'd written jokes for. And I had a book, a joke book for ventriloquists that I sell at the convention. Oh, really? And it's a great way to market and all that stuff. I've uh, written a couple of short scripts that I've sold, comedy scripts. Not full length. There's a full length movie that I started to write that I didn't finish. That hopefully someday I will. Uh, so that's been kind of my uh, background, what I've been doing. No TV, sketch comedy or something like that? Is that something you're interested in? Or? Yeah, I would do that. I punched up some skits a comedian who's in Branson, Missouri, and he sent me his script and said, Tom, punch it up, put some jokes in, edit out what you feel, and I did that for him, yeah, so that was fun. Wow. Mm -hmm. I always have to admire comedians because they always got that, you know, that, that edgy way of looking at things that always kind of, you know, mm -hmm. you know, get you in the end, so I have to give my hat goes off to you guys for that. Thank you. Um, I'm looking forward to you tonight, and I'm um, glad you're back. Um, here live on location at Radio Star to One Mic Night. This is One Mic Night TV. I'm Marco Luis. This is Tom Padovano. Thank you for tuning in.